still talk about another case of a disgusting, despicable, horrible excuse for a human being here. Woman accused of coughing on stores, food, jailed, charged with terroristic threats. Police on Thursday charged a Pennsylvania woman with Police on Thursday charged a Pennsylvania woman with making terroristic threats after she coughed on grocery store food while claiming while claiming to be sick. Margaret Circle, 35, had led, allegedly intentionally contaminated grocery items by coughing and spitting on them, claiming to be sick while attempting to steal a pack of beer, according to the Hanover Township Police Department. And police have charged Margaret Circle, 35, with making terroristic threats after they say she claimed to have coronavirus and intentionally coughed and spit on food in grocery store. Store throughout $35,000 plus dollars worth of product. And here's what she looks like, 35-year-old Margaret, Margaret Circle. Poof. What a hideous looking excuse for a human being. Yuck. She does look disgusting. So the incident resulted in the store disposing of $35,000 worth of produce, meat, and other essential items. Today was a very challenging day. Joe uh, Fasula, Fasula co-owner of the store, wrote in a Facebook post. While there is little doubt this woman was doing was doing it as a very twisted prank, we will not take any chances with the health and well-being of our customers. Local authorities said in a statement that Circle was charged with two felony counts of terroristic threats using a biological agent, one count of criminal mischief, and misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct and attempted retail theft. Circle was sent to a mental health hospital to be evaluated after her arrest. She was placed in Luzerne County Prison on $50,000 bail and is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on April 8th. So it's not bad enough that so many people around the world are dealing with lockdowns, dealing with loss of work, dealing with reduction in their work hours, dealing with being in quarantine, dealing with sometimes not even being able to see their own family members because of illness and quarantine. But you have worthless pieces of re worthless wretched pieces of garbage like 35-year-old Margaret Circle of Hanover, Pennsylvania, going around deliberately contaminating food in supermarkets. At a time when more people than ever are staying home and cooking food at home because, A, a lot of restaurants have been closed down. I know here in Ontario, Canada, the only way that restaurants can remain open is if they're able to do takeout or if they're able to do delivery. Well, this is no prank, and I sure as hell am not laughing about this, and I don't see anything funny about this. I hope this woman gets the, I don't know what the maximum penalty is in, in that jurisdiction where she committed these horrible crimes, or at least is, is accused of committing these horrible crimes. But I hope she gets the maximum of every penalty. I hope she gets the maximum jail time. And I hope she gets um, the maximum fines. I hope she loses her job, if she in fact had a job. Loses custody of her children. I hope it costs her everything. 
and I hope she is prosecuted to the maximum extent of the law. And furthermore, I believe in creative sentencing. On top of the traditional sentencing like jail time and fines and losing custody of your children and that kind of thing, what I think this ugly excuse for, for a human being should be subjected to, I think she should be chained up or tied down to the floor. And I think that every staff member, the owners of the supermarket, as well as every staff member that works at that supermarket and everyone who shops at that supermarket should be allowed to come by and do whatever disgusting biological act they feel like doing to her. They should be allowed to spit on her, cough on her, sneeze on her, urinate on her, defecate on her, on her, vomit on her, ejaculate on her. I really don't care. They should be allowed to do every disgusting biological act that a human being can do to someone else. Teach her a bloody lesson. Yeah. Margaret Circle, 35 years old. Yeah. I hope they throw the book at you. And on top of that, I hope you get beaten, tortured, and um, have a horrendous time in jail. You're a disgusting piece of garbage.